everyone presumes you're going to be absolutely elated that you've come out of prison. Um, and it's not like that. You know, you think you get this big build up for coming out, but there's such a fear behind it. And then when you come out, you've got, what have you got? To your mum, you are the best mum in the world and wouldn't change you for anyone else. Whatever happens, me and my sister will always be there for you and love you. I hope you're home soon and don't think you're a rubbish mum because you're not. Love you and miss you. I'll always be proud of you no matter what. I love you millions and millions and miss you so much. Lots of love from Kia. It was quite devastating really. Um, it was probably the night when I found out which like hurt me the most. Because was it, my mum's friend was like going to explain going to pick her up and then like she got remanded. All I did was think about my children when I was in prison. All I did was think about how I was going to be a better mum when I came out of prison. It got easier as it went on, like after the trial and stuff. It was really hard for my sister and stuff as well. So I had to be there more for her. So it was, we had a, it was quite heartbreaking. So obviously I was only 17 and then she like, she missed my birthdays a little bit as well. my crime and everything was based around bad relationship choices, bad decisions, a lifestyle maybe that I was leading. So I'd made a commitment to, to myself, to my children, that obviously I wouldn't go. There's certain friend groups that I had to cut off who still live in that life of let's go out, let's party, let's do this, let's do that. And I knew that I it was negative friendship groups. That social circle was no good for me, so I made that conscious decision, and I've still stuck by that, that people will be cut from my life. Obviously she found out who her real friends were at that point. That we was all there, um, just that we were all missing her. And it's kind of made us stronger. In the end, she appreciated me a lot more because I don't think you appreciate somebody until they're not there. And it is true what they say. So it worked both ways, I think. I found it quite difficult to move forward. I had to, I had to push, 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 push. And without my group around me, I wouldn't have been, been able to do that. I think I would have just gone back under. So when you come out of prison, you've got to find yourself again. And it does take a long time. I'm only just, just at that point now. Oh, she's just like more there <laughs> than she used to be. Um, get, along, get on a lot better than we used to. You should be able to trust your mum and she should be able to trust you with anything you tell them. Being in prison, you, you see you see how much a bad decision can affect the whole of your life, you know, everyone that cares anything about you. So having somebody else to focus on, if you put them at the forefront of your mind, you will always make the right decision. <laughs>